This item we're going to look at today is a one and a quarter inch eyepiece. It's an Orion 12.5 millimeter Possel illuminated reticle eyepiece. You can use it as an eyepiece in your telescope or if you have a, a, a scope finder you can use it as an eyepiece in your scope finder as long as it takes one and a quarter inches. Up here at the top is uh, a focusing knob that helps focus on the reticles inside, inside the eyepiece so you can get a sharp, nice sharp reticle to it. It makes, of course, if it's out of focus, the reticle is going to be larger than it needs to be. But once you get it focused, then it's nice sharp and you actually can see the reticle inside a little better. Hey, the reticle's lit up by this uh, illuminator eyepiece that screws right into the, right into the eyepiece. And it takes three GP189 batteries. It just unscrews like this. You take each battery and with the negative side you put it down. And it just screws back together. Now there's an on off switch on here. And also not only is it just on or off, but it is adjustable. So you can, once you turn it on, you can adjust how bright you're going to illuminate the reticle. Of course, you may not need it as bright as it can go all the time. Uh, depending on how bright your night sky is, it may only need to be on a little bit. But you just, and it just screws right in to the eyepiece right here. Screw it down. and uh, uh, you use it and what I'm planning to hope hoping to plan on by getting this is whenever I sky align on my telescope with the with the uh, uh, skyline feature I can align up center on the on the uh, uh, st each star I want to tell it to align to and maybe it'll make my alignment per more precise and also it might keep me from having to redo the alignment because I didn't quite get the three stars centered in the eyepiece and it it fails the alignment so that's what I'm hoping for so anyway but you can look down inside of it here's an example of what the what the reticles look like once they're illuminated I'll go ahead and turn it on now slowly turn up the brightness on the illuminator as you can see they actually brighten up quite a bit now I picked a, a, a four-line reticle that produces a little box in the middle. They do make other other uh, manufacturers make reticles that have got just uh, two two lines in the reticle to make a perfect cross. Well, I figured I'd just go ahead and get the double reticle that gives me a little bit more area. And I, if I'm happen to pick a small star. I don't have to worry about the reticle that lines over crossing over the star and make it harder to, for me to see and that's just my personal preference.